<laughs> All right, here we go. Hello, everyone on the YouTube side who's going to see this video. This is currently during a th the 300 days live stream, which the VOD will be uploading at I don't know when. You'll get it when you get it, and you're not going to complain because, well, I'm just not going to read them. If you I just won't read those comments, quite honestly. I don't. If you, com quite if you complain. Enough. Just like set, send us complaint letters to Stafford and Co. <laughs> yes, yeah. Send us, our complaint letter, send us our complaint letters so we can throw them in the fireplace to warm ourselves. Because well, <laughs> I refuse to, I refuse to pay for heating bills. I will just put in fireplaces. Anyway, that's Fo that's Fugle. He's our head. He's the head oh, here at Stash and Stream Incorporated. Uh, I probably will be muting on Discord for the time being. Though now I think about it, I should absolutely be uh, deafened. Cool. Now you're not going to hear from him for a little bit, because I am definitely on Discord. Anyway, hello YouTube watchers. If any of you are YouTube-only watchers, uh, y'all really should come and join the stream at some point in time. Simply because it's way cooler to be here for the stream, as opposed to only being a YouTube viewer. Which I don't think many of you are just YouTube viewers, to be fair. But if any of you are, make sure you come check out the stream. Twitch.tv slash Stashlin. Here, I'll put it in the chat. There you go, twitch.tv slash Stashlin. Make sure you follow me if you're a YouTube-only viewer. Alright, so, this is where I spawned. Exactly, 300 Minecraft days ago. And this is where I spawned. I would then run up over across these mountains, mine down a couple of trees, and over here is where I build the first house. Right there. This is the first house. It's a simple construction. It began with with dirt windows, as anyone does begin their hardcore world, their hardcore world. But now they're fences. I still haven't put in glass, and I never will. Got a nice fireplace. Down here was an enchant setup. Got very got tons of plenty of storage. That house has no problem with storage. And down there are the mines, where I kind of just dug in a straight line for the most part. If I come over here. This is where I do a lot of my wood harvesting. For the most part. I got this taiga. I got this oak. And over here I harvest my dark oak. So we could go through that nether portal. But I don't care to. Just because it's kind of out of the way. And irritating. I also haven't linked it up to the rest of the nether hub at the moment. So. Yeah. I did that. So we're just gonna quickly fly back here. Hold on. We're just gonna quickly fly back. This is where I spawned in the nether. Oh, hi. You wanna get these hands? Anyway. Crocs, I forget when I went to the nether, but this is when, this right here, it is where I spawned in the nether. My portal is completely exposed, I'm aware. If you run down this bridge, it'll take you to the entirety of the rest of this nether hub, which is about maybe four portals total. Simply because I just haven't gone that many places, weirdly enough. I have not gone very far in this world in the last 300 days. Oh, hi, fellas. So. Hello there, <laughs> nether TV. Here we got my nether TV cribs. Alright, so this is the staircase down to something. This should be the staircase down to the end portal. I think that's what that is. And down here is the staircase to where I actually spend most of my time. This right here is the villagers and my main base, which um, technically I have a house, but not really. All that's in there is my drag is the dragon egg. But welcome to the compound. That is the house where the dragon egg sits. And as you can see, there's plenty of villagers. In here. There's one kind of easy lower floor with a scout's exterior staircase leading up to the dragon room. 
Got some cool stuff like Marlin and Nemo. I don't know why there's an F there, but uh, first totem and for, and uh, not my... Actually, I'm wearing my first Elytra right here. Now, that's the second Elytra I ever got. Over there is my storage. And now, this has changed in the last 300 days quite a lot. Started out with just one small plot of wheat. And then, uh, well, originally this was a river, which um, has been widened, as you can see. But uh, there's just like a river flowing through here, basically, kind of like curving like that. We're mostly we're like the highest concentration of sandstone is. So, started off with just a small plot of wheat. Then I extended it into wheat and sugarcane and trees. And I stopped the trees and turned it all to sugarcane and wheat. Then I removed the sugarcane and kind of just left it here, and it was just wheat. And then I just tore everything down and mined it down like an extra like four or five, maybe even six blocks and like here. Well, it's four for the most part. So I just dug it down more, a couple more blocks and now it's all just open and empty. Got the uh, raid wall. This is where I keep all of my banners from raids and killing pillager captains. Aside from the aside from banners in the raid room, which is the room where I sit in, in my raid farm where I... Uh, um, silently remove the pillagers. The goal is to eventually cover up this entire wall in banners. This right here is the bee enclosure. Got a, got two bees nests and two beehives, and a bunch of plants and stuff in here. The bees they they like here. I think that's uh the store that's the bee of the storage. Uh. We, he, he kind of just stuck there for some reason. I don't know why, but he's kind of like stuck. And then we got Llama of the Vine and Llama of the Not Vine. Got like, this was all sandstone for the longest time. I kind of just recently turned this all to grass and stuff so the bees have more area to go around. And then in here is in the storage, which is also a recently finished project. I didn't actually do this on stream. Uh, this was a not on stream project just because it would have been boring, I think. Uh, it looks here. I'll, I'll get y'all a, a view from up top. Welcome back. Here we are. Looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Got compound over here, which there's uh That's where I moved the enchant setup to, by the way. Right in that building. Just re legitimately just earlier this stream... Uh, that this clip will be coming from just finished digging this and uh, filling all this in with water uh, sugarcane farm goes very far around uh, you can see over there that's the border of the um, uh, it's the border of the uh, raid farm that's what the word I was looking for raid farm so if we come back over here We'll go check out some of the here. So, as I said, got enchant stuff up here. And if you follow me down to the lower levels, this is where I've moved, start, slowly started transitioning villagers to. We've got various villagers. Uh, I'm going to have, like, a specific, like, kind of one of these wings for each type of villager eventually. But right now, I just don't have it really and you have a need for that. And then down here is where I've done a bunch of haste mining. Just kind of just letting like clear and stuff. Got a lot, got a decent amount of ores from that. Done a couple of getting rich streams recently, which if you have not caught those, if you, if you didn't catch those live, the VODs are, the VODs for some of them are up. Some of them were not safe to put on YouTube, no matter, the, no matter how much editing I did. Those are just not safe to go on YouTube. Plus, I want to. I kind of want to keep the vods unedited so you get everything. But those vods, some of those vods are up on YouTube. If you didn't get to catch them live, do make sure you go and check them out. Of course, that'll all be posted along with this on the Stashland Vods channel. If you're not subscribed to me or follow if you're not subscribed on youtube do make sure you go subscribe on youtube if you're not following me on twitch do please do that 
it would be very, it's very helpful if you do. It allows me to keep doing this. So this is the sugarcane farm, which is uh, unfortunately smaller than it was. Here's the raid farm, and up here is my creeper farm. I don't come to the free creeper farm very often, just because I've got a whole shulker box full of rockets. And I don't really need the XP, so this kind of just sits here. This is a mesa up here. I've done a bunch, I've done a little bit of gold mining and raid some mine chests. Other than that, I don't really come over here. The raid farm, I do spend a lot of time. I do actually spend a pretty good amount of time there, actually. Uh, just kind of add right down to the water, and we'll I'll show you the raid room that I talked about earlier. So you can see the banners. It's actually not completely full anymore because I changed its design. But uh, this is the raid room. Got a bunch of storage from items that get dropped in the raids. And I, whenever I'm here doing a raid, I just come up here and I sit, I, I shift, and I get onto these chests, and I just stand here and wait for things to drop down, and I can move it all whack. Got stuff at the ender chest. I do need to convert that to another nether ingot, but that'll happen when I get to it. Then if I come over here, so I actually farm the captains to do raids over here, and it'll show eventually. Over there, that pillager outpost right there, which I had done slight amount of modifications to to make it easier on me. But, and this will be a project I finish eventually. You can see I've got. I had more stuff set up over here. I kind of cleaned it up, but I'm going to slowly tear, tear this mountain down to flatten this land out, make it easier on me for harvesting bad omen. Some jungle over here. It's where I get my jungle wood from. So we'll just fly back here quick. So, as time goes on, of course, more projects will be built, and um, those projects will, for the most part, be built live here on twitch.tv slash stashland. So, if you do want to watch it, make sure you, come, you do join the channel for those streams. Got a lot of shulker boxes. I've, I've spent my time in busting, gotten a, me a good amount of shulker boxes, which are kind of all over the place at the moment, but it is what it is. I'm gonna sleep quick. Alrighty. So, uh, well, you know what? Let's head to the end. There really isn't much there, but I might as well show it all to you guys. Pretty much all that's in the end is me flattening it over, is me flattening it slowly, and then. Well, actually removing it slowly is really what it is. Saying flattening it doesn't do what I'm doing justice. Where did I get that golden apple from? Has that just been in my inventory? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got two portals over here. That that far portal over there takes me to the uh, jungle and a couple other biomes. Here I am in the uh, stronghold. That's the word I'm looking for. And over here, you can see it's starting to summon over there. There we go. This is the Enderman farm. That's how I get to go do land busting right over there. And then over here, is a small shulker monster for holding end stone. Here we are, here are the full shulkers. Well, that one's not full, but whatever. And then down here, I, I will okay, I will kill the occasional wither down here.
which if you caught if you uh catch up on the which if you don't catch up on the streams uh we had a slight accident with one last stream which resulted in me having to uh slash kill the wither because i quite legitimately it just kept floating up and i legitimately could not do anything to it like it would just kill enderman and heal itself from that and like i have all the damage i was doing was basically it was like it had its own set of ender crystals that i just couldn't ha i i couldn't stop the enderman from spawning like that would be a legitimately unsolvable problem but so yeah that was fun remember if you want to catch those antics twitch.tv slash dash one but uh i believe that does in fact conclude our world tour i don't know when i'll do the next one 400 500 a thousand days i have no idea i just did 300 because it was while well, it was the next milestone i was about to hit so with that in mind uh thank you guys all for coming out uh if you want to catch the streams live i've plugged it several times twitch.tv slash stashlin if you want to catch these videos stashlin vods on youtube uh stashlin spell s-t-a-c-h-e-l-i-n and then vods capital v-o-v-s um I stream as often as I can, but some lifetime sometimes gets in the way. It's just the way it is. So, uh, to sign this off, I'll sign off the same way I do on Twitch. Remember, be smart, be safe, don't die. Bye.